I got home and mum said, no, I've just enrolled tests for next term at ballet. It's only once a week and it only cost me $100. And darling, just let her do it and she'll get over it. She never got over it. Ballet, tutus, everything was dance, pirouettes, every family event, Tess was dancing. Every time you looked at Tess going past, there would be some sort of dance move. She was obsessed with watching um, Barney and she used to watch it constantly, back to back, same episodes all the time. We ended up having to cut her off because she started speaking with an American accent. She was gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. She used to do ballet and she she was the prettiest little dancer. She was just lovely. She never annoyed anybody. She was genuinely pleasant to have around. My first memory is in English when I lent you a pencil and it was all uphill from there. The earliest memory would have to be where Tess sat by a letterbox under my instruction. Brad's party, uh, Australia Day. We'll probably have to be in uh, an English Miss Bowen's class. Used to sit next to my boy Daniel, Tess. Definitely had a crush on him, 100% of a crush. I thought she was really quiet and like normal. And then we like broke the mold and we were like normal with each other. And then we both realized we we're all just a bit weird. I'm so, so glad that we met at that stupid group interview. All I can tell you is that a very crappy hospo job was filled with a lot of belly aching laughs. Tess is like the workhorse of the team. Tess is really hard working, got a great work ethic. You know that something will always get done if you give it to Tess. She is intelligent, smart and very streetwise. She's just such a goal setter. We have really interesting and intelligent conversations. She's also very funny. Hilarious. She's beautiful. Really thoughtful. Just so caring. She gives out a lot of love and affection to everyone around her. Amazingly selfless. Please forgive me, it's a bit of a personal joke, but is an absolute life frother. She also has uh, an extremely kind nature. I remember Tess as a uh, beautiful, elegant flower. Oh. You're probably one of the first people I come to if I have a problem. Drink wine and watch trashy TV. <laughs> I think everyone who meets her is absolutely drawn to her. I think it was year eight or year nine at the swimming carnival and you made all those, the girls wear those t-shirts. I was very embarrassed but very excited nice, and I don't think I got you back so here you go. Ah, uh, the dance that you did um, in year 12 for my dad. It was really special and I won't ever forget that and it just shows what a beautiful person you are. Her contagious love has to take the cake. Um, it is just I'm just the best. <laughs> well, she's my work wife. She's my my point person, support person. If it wasn't for Tess, I don't know where I'd be. Tess's attitude to life. She is so fun loving and always up for a super fun time. She goes out of her way to make sure that everybody is happy, everybody is comfortable. I really love that she's working for a non-for-profit. She's got a lot of common sense. Any problem she has, she manages to get on top of. She just takes life as it comes and she's always smiling. <laughs> Hello Tess, happy birthday. I thought I'd come and do the birthday message at your desk. This is how neat Tess's desk is. Have a great birthday Tess. I hope you have a really fun weekend and many happy returns and a great year ahead. Happy birthday Tess. Happy birthday Tess. I hope you have a really good year ahead of you. Happy birthday, Tess. Happy birthday. I love you very, very much. I hope you have a fantastic day and celebrations that are never ending in style. Oh, yeah. Look, I love you, Tess. Always love you. Um, never say it enough. So have a great birthday and we'll see you soon. Happy birthday, babe. The big 2-4. You're like a 
a baby anyway. I hope you have a wonderful day with all of your friends. Um, and I reiterate, I don't know what I would do without you. I love you. Have the best birthday. I miss you like crazy and I can't wait for you to come visit. Say happy birthday Tess uh, and I love you so much and I'm so proud of you and um, one of my greatest memories to date uh, is you being uh, one of my bridesmaids and being able to be out the front um, at my wedding um, and I love you so much. Hey Tess, it's Ham. I hope you have a wonderful birthday. I know we haven't talked in a very long time. I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday and let you know how thankful I am for our friendship um, and all the wonderful memories that we had throughout high school and state dance company, particularly our little Mr. G <laughs> quotes that we would do. Yeah, but I miss you and I hope you're having a wonderful day and I hope that you are doing very well. I hope you have a good day. Love you.